there, I'm back with another video. Um, and since Odette here was hanging around me, I figured it would be a good time to uh, introduce her. She's being vocal. But this is Odette. She is our ragdoll kitty cat. Um, true to ragdoll nature, she's usually right around me, um, wherever I am. We have another cat. He is a doll-faced Persian, so if you know anything about them, they have longer noses. They don't have the um, squished faces. But um, he's a little more standoffish, unless food's involved, and then he's super affectionate. Um, but Odette is usually the one who's always looking for cuddles. Or even if she's not necessarily looking for cuddles, she's with us. Um, she's super sweet. She is just the sweetest cat I have ever had. Um, so she's only a year and a half. Yeah, lion. A year and a half, so she hasn't reached her full size yet. They usually don't reach their full size and coloring until they're um, three, about three. Um, I don't think she's that big yet. People tell me that she is, but um, she doesn't really like being out in the air, but that's, yeah, I know. I know. Can you say hi to YouTube? Say hi. Say hi. Um, but yeah, I wasn't a cat person until I got her. And I don't know. She's just super sweet. I've never had such an affectionate cat. <laughs> She's so sweet. You're so cute. Yes, you are. Um, so today I am just going to, um, show you my whips and I got some stuff for Christmas. Um, it is not December. Uh, my last video was in November and I said I would do a monthly update, but it's close enough. It's, uh, January 3rd now. So you want to go? You're sitting on Odette's perch, so she might try to jump on it. You ready to go? Or are you content? Do you like being on, on the YouTubes? You gonna go? You gonna go? Okay. Alright. So I will start with, uh... My acquisition, or my, my whips. Um, I'll start with a finish, actually. So, I'm not going to, we're making a really big move in about four months, so I'm not going to frame anything until we move, because then we'd have to move, instead of just little fabric, we'd have to move, um, she's getting into my stuff. We'd have to move big frames. So, this is a finish. Um, this is Story Time Sampler by Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. Um, I finished this in December. You can't get in the closet, baby cat. Um, so this one was stitched on the Crystal Storm Lugana. I finished it actually December 13th. So it's been done for a while. And then actually for Christmas, I don't have a picture of it, but my neighbor, um, she's a pretty close neighbor, she and her husband, one of their first dates was to go see, um, to go see The Phantom of the Opera on Broadway. On Broadway or off Broadway, I'm not sure exactly. But so I stitched out just this on some just like raw linen and turned it into an ornament for them because it has special meaning and she said that she's not putting it up with the Christmas ornament she's gonna hang it in her room so I thought maybe I should have put it in a frame but it's so tiny so that's that one done so those are the two finishes and then here are my whips let's see what can I work on with me. I'm missing something. Oh. So I just made this little Q-snap case to keep this project in. This is a new start. Um, this is, where's my book? This is, I can't 
can't remember names of anything. Pretty Little Paris by Satsuma Street Designs and I started it in November and it's on 32 count antique white Chauvelin. So that's my progress on that one. This is a needle minder I got from Lindy Stitches. I think I showed you that already. But. So I love, I didn't know if I'd like the colors on this one as much as like I would like the colors um, Little Tokyo. I love the colors on that and Pretty Little Washington DC. But I actually really do like these bright colors. So one more time. So, so far we have the Eiffel Tower and the Louvre. No, that's not the Louvre. What is that? Notre Dame. Um, and I believe I'm working on the Arc de Triomphe over here. Okay. So there's that. I did not work on um, Once Upon a Time Sampler. What did I work on? Oh, I worked on Mirabilia. I'm not, yeah, my Mirabilia. I've worked on um, Rose of the Province. So this is a since we have cats and dust and cat fur, I wanted to be able to leave my current project on the lap scan um, without getting dust and cat hair all over it. So I just stitched up this little lined case. I love the fabric. It was something I made for my. Um, I made a shirt out of for Jaden, but here is, sorry about all this red in the way, let me see if I can move all that down, okay. Um, I don't know if you can tell that I've made progress, but I feel like I've made quite a bit of progress right over here especially, and here. Um, so yeah, her head's done except for the beading and back stitching. I save all that to the end. I'm the kind of person who actually doesn't mind the back stitching. I've never beaded, so I don't know how tedious I'll find that, but we'll see because there's a lot of beading in this project. She's going to be really, oops, my brain came apart. She's going to be really pretty when she's done. Yeah, that's the thing about these um, PVC frames. They come apart easily, but it's just a matter of popping them back in. No big deal. And it's actually a good thing that I do that because I can split them flat if I want to. Um, okay, so let me talk about the needle minder. So I, um, let me get a better one. I, um, wanted to make some needle minders. So what I did was I ordered like a bunch of pieces and a bunch of magnets to make needle minders. So I actually put the extras in an Etsy shop, which I'll link down below. Um, I don't know if any of you are interested in them, but these I'm calling mermaid scale minders and they're on like a gold filigree um, background. And they're really pretty and really shiny and I have I think two of these and then I also have these which my son called dragon scale minders. So that is what I'm calling them. Um, or he called them dragon scales because they're they're white, and I think I have three of those left after giving them away. But uh, there they are together. Very very pretty. Um, I've made a couple more. These aren't listed in my Etsy shop yet, but I have a peanut butter jelly one. I have some cupcake ones. So I only have one of each color, but they say sweet. I have it in blue, hot pink, and light pink. I love the little heart on them. And then I have um, I've only got two of these, one of each color. Uh, it's a hot pink little fleur de lis. I got that one to use with my pretty little Paris piece. And I have the light pink. So 
squiggly. I hope to get more stuff and lift it because I really like making my own minders. Cute. My favorites though are the mermaid scale and the dragon scale. So that's that. Let's see. Now on to stash acquisition. My sister was very generous this Christmas. She made me cry. <laughs> She's usually the only one who can make me cry on Christmas. <clears throat> My family tries. Um, it's like a competition with them to see who can make the other family members cry the hardest. I'm usually the most difficult one to get to cry because when everybody's staring at me, I I can't show emotion, but my sister usually does. So the first thing she got me was um, Casper, my husband, is a pilot, and he, um, she, so Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery recently re-released their little wooden needle minders, and she, my sister knows how much this one would have meant to me. Um, let me get them out because it's a little airplane it's like Casper it's a little pilot so this one actually I don't know why it just it does it means a lot it's a little pumpkin flying a kawaii plane and I love all things kawaii so she got that one I think that their um, re-release was only for a weekend so she snapped them up pretty quickly and then the other one that she got me because I love Paris and for some reason balloons are often associated with Paris. They're in all the little Paris, um, Paris uh, cross stitches I see. So she got me very cute balloons. That is not all she got me. Also, got me the full, she got me a pattern, and this is Bianca Bella, I think, yes, it's a Mirabilia, and she's so pretty, it says, in honor of her mother who stitched in the palace orchard, Bianca Bella visited the place where her mother once pricked her finger and made a wish. So you can read more about Bianca Bella inside, but I haven't opened it yet. Um, so I, I just think she's gorgeous. Not only did she get me that pattern, she got me these full kits with the beads and the silk thread. Um, I'll show you the silk. Uh, so this is a Karen, the Karen collection, Karen Water Lilies in pine forest mm. I have paper here somewhere oh. Let's see. There we go. So this is in pine forest I've never stitched with silks before so I am so excited and then the only other silk that it calls for is also by Karen, and it is Jade. I love the variation in this one. Variegation. Um, and then some of the beads. Super pretty. Milho glass beads. She got me all the bead packs I needed all the DMC and all the Karen and the fabric which is 32 count French lace. So this is all ready for me to stitch up. And I don't know, I want to start it now, but I have Roses of Provence going. Does anybody have two Mirabilia's going at a time? I don't know, I want to start it so bad. Um, and then I told you guys last time that she ordered the entire kit from the Pro Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery for Happily Ever After, and that came in. So there's the kit. 
Um, that's all the thread. And then here's the fabric. The fabric is super pretty. It is Crystal Helix 28, cash shell, 28 count cash shell from Picture This Plus. Very pretty. I like subtler um, hand dyed fabric. That's gorgeous. I love, can you see the sparkles in it? Yeah. And the last thing I got is a small thing, but um, almost done, baby girl. Um, let's set all this down. It's, it's a small thing, but it's something that I got excited about. Um, so, my favorite needles are Bowen needles, um, and I go through them a lot. I only use pretty much a size 28. Uh, it works for everything for me. If you go on eBay for like $15, you can get a 50 pack of Bowen needles. They don't come in their boxes, but I've, I've used them and they are Bowens. So that is 50 Bowen needles that will last me quite a while for $15. I was very excited to find that. So that is on eBay. Just Google or just uh, search up Bowen needles. The last thing that I wanted to share with you guys was I homeschool the kids and I'm very active in a lot of Facebook groups, like a lot, and probably part of way too many because every time I get a new hobby, I I join the I join like ten Facebook groups for it. But um, there's this one Facebook group I'm in, it's Hip Homeschool Moms. I have cat hair. <laughs> it's Hip Homeschool Moms. Um, and my husband and I we made a boo-boo. This uh, this is all my cross stitching stuff. We made a boo-boo this or last month, right before Christmas. He, I, we had a miscommunication. I paid rent online, and he went in and brought in a cashier's check to pay rent. Um, and our rent isn't that cheap. It's really high. Uh, I don't like to say that, but it. So we paid rent twice, and I thought I, when I called the rental company, they said there was nothing they could do. They couldn't give the money back. So I panicked and I went on the group and I was like, oh my gosh, I ruined Christmas, but not really because the extra money that we paid was supposed to be presents for the kids. And I know it's not about the presents, like it, but just for them to, at that point we couldn't have gotten anything and they would have woken up to nothing. And you know, people were suggesting take them to a soup kitchen or take them, you know, show them what Christmas is really about. And those are really good ideas, but as a mom, you you kind of feel like Jaden, can you hear me? Like even Santa wouldn't have even brought a gift, so that that was um it was scary for for like a hot minute before I calmed myself down and uh realized that I could fix it but there was this one lady I mean people were offering to send the kids one of their kids gifts and you know I absolutely would not do that because there are so many people who are actually in need we're, we're not in need it was just a minor hiccup that we had to overcome but this lady said that she had an Etsy store and I was like well I'd love to support your business because um you know it's just heartwarming that you would offer anything she said, I'd love to send your kids some toys. Um, so she gave me her Etsy store and I went on it. And um, her store is uh, The Phantom Moon on Etsy. Um, I found out that she embroiders and cross stitches. I asked her if she'd ever heard of needle minders and she hadn't. So I sent her some that I had made. I offered to send her some that I had made. And she said that she would love to actually do a trade. So I sent off some needle minders and she sent a package and she sent way too much. So 
Um, I just wanted to give her shop a shout out and, you know, this is the kind of business that I like to support and I'm sure you too, um, just somebody who's that kind and giving, raining. So the first thing that she sent was this beautiful handmade doll for Jaden with a hand painted face. She has cat hair on her. Hand painted face. Look, at, she says that she doesn't list these. She lists more embroidery and cross stitch related stuff. Look at that cute little bracelet on her that's hand painted on. Her little shoes. Um, it has the fancy moon um, a tag, but she's just the cutest little doll. Something handmade. Th these are the kinds of, of things that I love um, to get for my kids. So that is the doll she sent. Let's see. She doesn't even know this, but I love foxes. She sent this cute little fox ornament. Um, and the cutest part is it's got a little tail. It's adorable. Um, so I don't know if I want to put this up with the ornaments. I kind of like them hanging out. Yes, sweet girl. I'm almost done. Um, she sent this postcard, says ridiculous, and it's a spider with skates on. Um, I guess she has those printed for her shop, because it's her shop name on it. So I'll probably put this in my journal over here. I won't send that out. And then she sent a kit, and actually, she sent something for Jaden. This one's going to be for Landon. Either he'll stitch it, or I'll stitch it and hang it in his room for him. But it's a wand with a light at the end of it, and it says Lumos. Um, and let me show you what comes in it. I love the washi tape that she used. And my phone cut off, so I have to refilm the end of this video. So it cut off when I was showing um, this cross stitch kit. It's a Harry Potter inspired cross stitch kit. Can I show you? I don't know if it cut off before I showed the picture. It's a wand with a light and it says Lumo. Okay. So the first thing it comes with is the pattern. Um, it comes with a little guide to um, cross stitch. It comes with a hoop um, for framing it when you're done. It comes with a piece of navy, it looks like 14 count Ada with a needle. And it comes with um, probably just enough thread or maybe a little bit extra to finish the project. So it comes with a dark, medium, and a light blue. And then a white and a brown. So. Um, I'm trying to remember what else. What did it cut off on? Um, so everything you need to stitch up uh, this little pattern. Um, Jaden's coming up. She's probably hungry for some lunch. Almost done, baby girl. Um, so let me go take care of that. Um, I'm going to list the Etsy shops, my Etsy shop, and um, the Phantom Moon. Yeah. Sure. The fancy moon. You're welcome. The fancy moon um, in the description bar below. And I'll see you guys hopefully at the end of the month or at the beginning of February. Thank you for watching. Bye.